Shalom family, check this video out. This is the reason Christians don't know scripture. And of course this happens in the Christian church. And these men are just emotionally irate. Saying any and everything right off the top of their heads. Listen to this and then I'm going to come back and explain some things he's saying here. Right now if you vote Democrat, I don't even want you around this church. You can get out. You can get out, you demon. You can get out, you baby butchering election thief. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. I don't care how mad that makes you. You get pissed off as you want to. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God-denying demons that butcher babies and hate this nation. They hate this nation. Get mad all you want to. I don't care if you stand, I don't care if you throw tomatoes, praise God. I'm about to throw a microphone up in his house. CNN can eat my dirty socks. You cannot be a Democrat and a Christian. You cannot. Somebody say amen. amen. The rest of you, get out. Get out. Get out in the name of Jesus. I ain't playing your stupid games. Bunch of devils. I'm sick of it. They want to talk about the insurrection. Hmm. Let me tell you something. You ain't seen an insurrection yet. You keep on pushing our buttons, you low down, sorry compromisers. You God hating communist America. You'll find out what an insurrection is because we ain't playing your garbage. We ain't playing your mess. My Bible says that the church of the living God is an institution that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the Bible says they will take it by force. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. Okay. <clears throat> so you hear how he's going off here. And you hear what he's saying. Of course, he's dealing with politics and the political arena. You know, there's a separation between the church and the state. But there is no separation. It's all by talk. So let's hear. Let, let, me, let me show you this. Let's break down what he's saying here. Right now, if you vote Democrat, I don't even want you around this church. You can get it. If you vote Democrats, he think this thing is about Democrat and Republican. If you vote Democrat, I don't even want you in this church. Get out. Democrats are not welcome. So you see, this is a direct contradiction. You mean a Democrat is not welcome because of his belief? Just because he liked the other side? You look at him as an enemy when he says he's a Christian, but watch this thinking. Get out. You get out, you demon. So he's calling, these people call themselves Christians. And they call on Christ and they are Christians. And he's calling them, since they want to go Democrat, he's calling them a demon. You can get out, you baby butchering election thief. Now he's going into baby butchering election thief. Now. If you're going to point fingers at who's responsible for this in the country and who's responsible for that in the country, it's the leaders, Democrats and Republicans. Abortion has been going on forever. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. I don't care how mad that makes you. You get pissed off. You can't be a Christian and vote Democrat. That's a lie. Democrats been... Christian Democrats been voting that way for years. That's a lie. They can't change and they won't change their Christian belief because of this man. But again, this is the example of why Christians don't know scripture. He's supposed to be teaching a people what iniquity is. And what he's supposed to be teaching people the difference between righteousness and unrighteousness using the Torah and the prophets. This is the reason. As you want to, you cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God denying demons. That okay, now this is deep here. Of course, you know, we got to go in on this one. This one's deep. They are G O D denying demons. Because anybody on this channel, they know we are not confessing G-O-D. And we are G-O-D deniers. We call on Yahuwah, Alua, 
Elohim, this is who we call on, Yahuwah and his host, the Most High, Shadi, the Almighty. This is who we're calling on. And we know G-O-D is the name of another mighty one, and we have denounced and denied him. So he's calling us demons. I butcher babies and hate this nation. No, no regular people that go to work that are Democrats, they didn't butcher any babies. They may have vote for this, but the doctors are ultimately doing it, and the politicians say it's okay. So what is he fussing about? It's his, this man is so delusional, it's his country that is doing this. His leaders, the Republicans and Democrats, once again. They hate this nation. They hate this nation. Who? Democrats hate the nation? So, he's hooked on this political arena thing. And this is supposed to be the church. This is his church. The Most High doesn't have a church. The Most High has a people, a nation. And he has nothing to do with it. And he will hate on this people. Get mad all you want to. I don't care if you stand. I don't care if you throw tomatoes, praise God. I'm about to throw a microphone up in his house. CNN can eat my dirty socks. You cannot be a Democrat and a Christian. You cannot. Somebody say amen. The rest of you, get out. Get out. They said all is welcome. Come as you are. This is what the weak Christians say. Come as you are. He forgive everybody. He forgive. He's a loving and forgiving. Oh, but you have to be a Republican for this man. Get out in the name of Jesus. I ain't playing your stupid games. Bunch of devils. I'm sick of it. They won't talk about the insurrection. Now, y'all know he's talking about brown people in America because mostly brown people vote this way. And this is what you call a normal American racist. This is who he is in the guise of a religion, Christianity. He's saying you're not welcome. Mm. Let me tell you something. You ain't seen an insurrection yet. You haven't seen an insurrection yet. Now, here comes the threat. People don't understand this man's threat. Insurrection, a violent uprising against an authority or government. Any type of authority. This is what it is. This is what insurrection is. And he knows the people are upset because of how things are going on. He knows people are upset how the country's inception came about, how it was built on the back of slaves. He's upset about this. The people are rising up. The people are protesting, rioting, making their arguments known. You think you've seen the insurrection? You keep on pushing our buttons, you little. You keep pushing our buttons. You keep on doing what you're doing. And what he's saying, we're going to rise up against you and we're going to fight. Forget turn the other cheek. That's what he's saying. Down, sorry, compromisers. You God-hating communist America. You'll find out what an insurrection is because we ain't playing your garbage. We G.O.D. hating? Notice his speech here. Th those Christians love G.O.D. What is he talking about? The man is delusional. But this is the reason they don't know scripture. And unfortunately, because our people lack knowledge... We're going to fall into this trap. He ain't playing your mess. My Bible says that the church of the living God is an institution that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the Bible. Now, that's a deep statement that he made. I don't I know most people don't understand. The gates of Shaul will not prevail against the church. Of course, many people are not going to understand. They're going to think because it's in the Bible. They're going to think it's. That's so, but that's a wicked, twisted teaching. And Yahushua never said that. Why? It go That phrase goes against the Torah and the prophets. If you have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know what I'm talking about. The Bible says that we'll take it by force. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. So, now, let's, let's go into what's coming. Because this is where our people come in at. America is a melting pot. 
ready to boil over when a pot boils the water's in and it's settled but it's getting hot and it begins to boil and if you let it sit there it will boil over and water will spill all over the stove this is what it is is pressure being built and built and built and it's going to explode Matthew 24 and 7 nations will rise against nations and kingdom against kingdom this is what's going to happen this is what's happening and this man knows this and what he's telling you what he's telling Americans the fight will be on we're going to be ready for this fight 2nd Ezra 15 15 through 19 for the sword and misery draw near draw near them see you stay in her this is what you're gonna have to deal with nations shall rise up and fight against nations with swords which is weapons in their hands for there should be unrest among men we see it already and it's gonna grow stronger and stronger one against another one man against another man one woman against another woman and here we here we go, Yashara fighting each other. How many times you've heard this on this channel? We can't afford to be fighting each other over pettiness, little things, baby things. This is why I can't deal with people that want to fight over minute arguments that has nothing to do with what's coming. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You want to fight me? No, that's the wrong fight. So since you want to fight me, I got to get away from you. And this is what we have to do to those people. Get away from them. Why? They want to fight. We try to have, we try to teach scripture. And they come in the comment section, fight, fighting. You got to get rid of them. Don't worry. The fight will come to you. They shall in their might have no respect for king, authority, presidents, or leaders, chief, shah, for a man will desire to go into a city you won't be able to flee at this time and she'll not be able people are going to want to flee and they're not for because of the pride the city shall be in confusion houses shall be destroyed people shall be afraid some people know these verses but they don't know how they're going to fit right into this they'll tell you yeah i know this i know about this but they're going to fit right into it and they don't know about that even if someone was to tell them no that, that's, that won't be me. I'm going into the wilderness. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbors, but shall make an assault upon their houses with the sword, with a weapon, and plunder their goods. Because of what? Hunger for bread and because of great tribulation. This is what our people that say they in the truth. This is what we're not preparing for. This is what we don't understand. You stay in America, this is what's coming to you. This is the reason, you know, th th there's a reason why we don't understand the war that he's talking about. But this man knows what he's talking about. Don't think he doesn't know. Don't think he doesn't know what side he's on. He's not on Yahuwah's side. He on G-O-D side. He's not on um, Allure's side. Elohim's side, Shadi's side, he'll say, who are they? He's prevailing, uh, he's on the side of going against the order of the structure that the Most High set up in Shaul. You see, he knows who's running that place. I was watching. This is Daniel 7, 21 and 22. I was watching, and the same horn the same beast making war against the righteous. This is where we at. We act like this stuff ain't about to happen. We don't even believe this prophecy. So you wait, so you make war with me. That's really smart. And prevail against them, killing them. Until the ancient of day, until Yahusha came, until the Mashiach came. And judgment was made in their favor of the righteous, of the most high. And the time came for the righteous to possess the kingdom. Now, some deepness going on here. Here is the reason why our people are going to fall into this trap. Hosea 4 and 6. We lack knowledge. We lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we care not for the things of Torah. We care not for Torah and the prophets. Torah and the prophets are no more the ultimate. We're, we're leaning on other things. And we're going to get caught up in this madness. This is why they don't know. Scripture. 